Hello, I am Glenn Woods, and I am from Palm Harbor, Florida. I'm one of the Pottery Boys at the Pottery Boys Clay Studios. We are gearing up for our 13th annual Tampa Bay Tour de Clay, which is December 12th and 13th, and uh, we hope to see you there. Uh, this year, because of COVID, we are making it virtual, so you can stay home and do the entire tour, or you can come out and travel to one of three, or all three studios on the tour, one in Palm Harbor, one in Lutz, and one in San Antonio, Florida, and check out the pots there. Um, then when you go back home, you can hop back on the computer and check everything out. So I wanted to just talk a little bit about my work. Uh, this year, uh, I have a few different things, but pretty much the uh, same materials and glazes. Uh, one of the things I wanted to talk about is what you don't see. And um, what you don't see is that for every piece that we make, we have to make a riser and a catch tray for the bottom uh, that has to be made specifically for each piece. Once the piece has been glazed and it's been fired, a lot of the glaze will roll off the piece and it will be caught in this catch tray. And then once it's room temperature, we will then break the piece off and throw away that part. And then we grind this part and polish this. This one's been finished. So there's a, a, a little extra work, but we think it's worth it for the crystalline glazes. I work in porcelain and Primarily, my focus is matte crystalline glazes, although I also do uh, gloss. They're very similar firing schedules, but two very different formulas. So my, my pieces typically will have some kind of beading, and this is a good example of the beading that you'll see on my work. It's influenced by my work when I was a little kid, I learned how to crochet. So a lot of these patterns are taken from the crochet projects that I would do when I was a little kid. These are uh, finished pieces, they've been glazed, and I use uh, black underglaze and other color glazes to create these streaks and, and patterns. Um, this is kind of what I'm doing more currently. I really like what the pattern that happens on the bottom. I like the beading on the top, and I like the color transition in the stripes. So this is uh, another piece that came out that I'm really happy with. This will be, you know, it has a red tag that means it's for tour de clay. So you see it has a really nice pattern on the top, has a nice color transition, has a streaking, and it has a nice pattern on the bottom. So that's a really nice piece. So I also do, uh, for the people who prefer a more simple form, I have uh, some simple forms, but I still want to give it kind of my own voice. So my focus is a color transition from top to bottom. So you see it starts out kind of nice and creamy, and then it goes into this deep green. And there is probably some cobalt in there as well, but you can't really see that. Um, I also have some uh, gourd forms. So this is altered, beaded, got my fancy little handle on there. And it also has some, some beads on the inside, a little added feature there. So we'd love to have you come out and see us at uh, the 13th annual Tampa Tour de Clay. So check out if you didn't get one of these in the mail, just to, uh, go to tampatourdeclay.com and I'll have all the details there and how to get to each of the studios. And also it'll list all the artists and who's participating in what capacity. Um, or you can go to directly to our website, which is powderyboys.com. And uh, you can, you know, we have a tab that's dedicated to Tour de Clay. So you can get that information there as well. So we hope that uh, whether you're planning on staying home and doing the tour or coming out and seeing us, we hope that you uh, come out and see us on December 12th and 13th for our 13th annual Tampa Tour to Climb.